shit is right in tame country. I mean, hey, look here. It's getting after it. Uh-huh. Hey, ain't that lovely? That's good stuff right there. As if I'm not behind enough. And I'm also pulling a big old trailer that you did have a skid loader on it a minute ago that I had to leave at the property because we get thunderstormed out. And, uh, oh, there's my buddy I was working with. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. So we got rained out. And now I'm headed to the house. We have had nothing but problems. I was like, who's he honking at? Oh, come on, people. Hey, y'all bear with me. I'm trying to get out. Pulling a big old trailer. Man, it is just looking. Man. Come on. Y'all can probably hear it. Well, so we're trying to, we got a fence down, which was hard enough because it was almost like it was permanently engraved in Mother Nature. We have to remove a retaining wall that's there that Mother Nature has been kind enough to push out and be crooked that we can't use anymore. And then build a new retaining wall with 28,000 pounds of concrete bags. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat on that one. That, I don't, I don't even know what to say. So as if things have not went bad enough on us, now of course we're getting completely rained out. Golly guys, it's, I know, camera never does the justice as the, you know, what's really going on, but I'm telling you, it's, if someone says, oh, you could have worked in the rain, uh, no. That's not just, uh, that's not just rain. <laughs> this is insane. It's like half hurricane over here. I think I've seen less rain during a hurricane. Oh, and of course, now my leg's gonna get wet. Once it rains super hard like this, it comes in through the door up here because of the light bar, how it mounts. Oh, lordy mighty. Hey, I wasn't gonna film it all today because I have just, it, it, cause it's been one of those days, guys. It, it seems like here lately, when something goes good, to get my mind right, there's five or six different things that will follow to, uh, you know, try to destroy your good mood, your integrity, your positivity, your everything that, you know, you try to improve on. But it's not gonna put me in a bad mood, really. It'll, it'll make me irritated. But it won't make me mad because that old saying, it is what it is. My buddy Stephen Jones, he's probably said that more than anybody I've ever heard. It is what it is. Well, what do you do? Nothing. You deal with it. So, good advice from my buddy Stephen. It is what it is. Of course, I know everybody says that, but he says it more than your average. Well, we got 16 more miles till we get home. Well, this trailer makes for a little bit more of a bumpy ride, but um, when I pulled the actual uh, skid loader and stuff over there, stopping was just hardly an option. I actually scared myself when the right lane had come to a stop really quick. I hit my brakes and pretty much nothing happened. And uh, I was like, okay, I started going off in the emergency lane but luckily traffic started again before I got there <clears throat> so I guess I'm gonna go home and uh, get all this off my mind and uh, anyway so I will upload something tonight it may not be but a couple of clips really not sure I'm not ever sure sometimes I say I'm not gonna film and then end up having 20 minutes worth by the end of the day may not be the most exciting thing in the world and but uh, I, it, but it is another day in the life of old country. Well, guys, it is next day, and I am itching. I just had to go put some 
Avon stuff on, see if it'll work a little better. But anyway, so yesterday I was too tired to even think, let alone pick up a camera. But uh, it is Saturday, and we are back at it. And uh, my help hadn't got here yet. I'm not sure why. But uh, anyway, rocking solo right now at the moment. And let me come down here and we'll show y'all what we're working with. So the fence here, uh, we knock down the parts that were, you know, kind of bad. And then it goes to this. So we were supposed to put a retaining wall here and we find out there's a retaining wall already here and now we're having to remove it. And oh, I had to wear the big boots today because it's high tide at the moment. Um, anyway, so I'm currently digging out the, uh, the old brick wall that was here. And there is hundreds and hundreds of bricks. Here's the the old wall there and it's uh, about three bricks deep four bricks deep give or take and uh yeah we're doing it the old fashioned way because I can't really get any machinery back here um and the mosquitoes are super super fierce they are uh landing right on the real thick Avon and just biting right through it it's not even phasing them over here probably because there's tens of thousands flying around because we are in a swamp so uh hey wish me luck even after you see this video wish me luck because i won't be done well it's time to get back after it and uh i will see you guys later on during the day and hope everybody's having a good day right there hi i'm back and uh Hey, he's just he's just as excited oh, yeah. to, <laughs> to do this as I am. It's a blast. We we kind of started using the, the dingo here to try to help with our wall situation. Oh, y'all hear that thunder? That's two days in a row. Uh, matter of fact, I believe yesterday when I was trying to make some sort of video, you know, at all, it started raining. Uh, here, check out what we're doing to their yard, guys. Look here. Ain't that pretty? Look here. Ain't that nice? Just to do a concrete wall. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's some of the concrete I've managed to get back here so far today. But uh Hey, look here. That YouTube career ain't took off yet. All right, it's getting dark in the swamp, guys. It's getting dark in the swamp. Snakes and gators and, oh, I ain't seen no gators. But I'm sure there's one somewhere. Just had to get two new shovels this morning, guys. 30 bucks a piece because the other ones were snapping. I had to get some, you know, industrial, much heavier shovels. I'm just going to leave these new shovels here. Ain't nobody going to steal them. I mean, they'd have to use them. No, I'm more worried about electronics. Oh, uh, yeah, anything electronic. Yeah, we're, I believe we're about to get hit like any second, buddy. All right, so we're wrapping it up, calling it a day because we don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah. Dogs are constantly, oh, I smell dog turd. I bet you one of us stepped in one. Oop. Oh, oh, by the way, guys, y'all know I don't like spiders and lightning. Well, here, the spiders are supercharged. Yeah. Oh, guys, it's getting, look here. You know what? Y'all can't really tell, but it's getting really, Ooh. it's getting close. I'm getting out of here. Whew. I'm going to take the trailer home with me, too. Look here, ain't, ain't that nice? Man. I, I hate it, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's coming, guys. Here's the lightning. 
And you know what? All those bags are about to get soaked. That's not good. Oh, throw my shoes in the truck. Good lord, it's my, the bottom's about to drop out. And that concrete's not covered. Alright, I'll see you on the truck. Alright guys, sorry, hey, had to get loaded up. Gotta check everything. Gotta check, make sure. I've oh, got a big old trailer. I gotta make sure uh, the chains and everything's toward the front of the trailer. And it gives a a little lead way for slide back. Everything good? Uh, maybe, yeah, yep, everything looks good. All right, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Let's get out of here. Ah. Oh. Well, I shouldn't have huffed and puffed on camera. But guys, my legs feel like jello. Uh, we moved, uh, let's see. We didn't move much, guys. There's the concrete. See how much concrete's there? Sorry about the dirty window, but. Uh, anyway, there's 49 bags per pallet, I believe. And we moved about a pallet and a half. Uh, loading five bags at a time into the dingo and uh, moving them around back, tearing up a yard. and We have to dig about four feet by two foot deep of land full of roots. And there's an old brick wall under there we're having to remove, you know, probably a thousand or two bricks. I thought it was only a few hundred bricks till we started digging. Nope. And uh, it, it should have been an easy job. This should have been something we could have got, you know, two days, two eight hour days, probably 15 hours a piece to 16 hours a piece. But when we got here and started digging, we realized we were in a world of trouble. Yeah we realize that we're gonna be here for close to a week so it definitely has become um, a huge pain in the butt you know what I need to see if my trailer lights are oh I see a lot okay good they're working all right let's go pull this big old fat trailer home we're gonna leave the machine in the backyard yeah all right we're out of here Oh, we might want to jip us how to get home. I'm not familiar with this neighborhood whatsoever. Get me out of the neighborhood and I'm good. This is a, uh, this neighborhood is very swampy. The whole back of it backs up to swamp. Boy, I hate having to pull a trailer around. I wish I could have just left it there, but the lightning is all around the neighborhood and I don't want to stand there and undo it and leave it and be in someone's way or whatnot. But when the trailer is about as wide as the lane is, a little aggravating to pull. Some people can't even drive a truck because they feel like it's too big. Have you had a trailer on to the truck? It's like driving uh, about two and a half trucks. I could definitely fit my truck on that trailer. Look out, people. Anyway, hey, I know I'm I definitely got super deer tay today. Let's go. I worked on his house. I, I like that guy. He recognized my truck. Um. Oh, now I know where I'm at. I do know where I'm at now. I've worked on this part of the neighborhood, but never in the back where the swamp is. Re that guy was loading up all of his golf clubs into the car. Where are you going? You got some indoor golf we don't know about? <laughs> Well, guys, camera never never does it, but it honestly, it's really, it's getting super yellow here, and uh, the camera never does real good. I know when I go back at the end of the day and watch it sometimes, and I'm like, well, that doesn't look anything like what I filmed. But come on, Mr. Lexus. Is it my go? You go oh, you gonna let me go. Well, how nice of you. Most people with... Most people with a bunch of money are rude. Hell, some people with no money are rude. <laughs> it is what it is. So this neighborhood has some, uh, if you see the, the speed bumps are actually made out of individual bricks. That's, I've not seen any other than this neighborhood um, in the two years that I've lived here. And you hit these, like you hit a regular speed bump, 
Hang it up. You're gonna break something. These things are <laughs> some dukes of hazard speed bumps. Anyway, guys, so we're gonna head to the house and uh, we're gonna see if we can outrun the rain. Ooh, it's not intro. I just made it home and I'm excited. Y'all give me just a minute. Cause this is good. Look at all that ice. Oh, look at all that dirt. Look at that toilet. <laughs> Dirty. Kira said, Dad, your shirt's really dirty. And I said, so is my skin. Look where I washed my hands, look. <laughs> she said, I think you need to go take a warm shower. I said, that's the best news I've heard all day, is warm shower. So guys, I will see you guys in a bit. It's warm shower time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Willie, you chew really loud. Alright, finally made it out of the shower. And, uh. Guys, I'm exhausted. At 34, I feel like I should be in my prime time. But I've been doing this a lot of years. And, uh. I think it's catching up. So. Something needs to take off. And it will. You know why? Because I work really hard at everything I do, that's why. But, as my good buddy James Marquis said, as he was here. Actually, James is not here now. And, uh, you know, he might as well be my brother. Um, he went to pick up a load. Uh, went, he hauls. So him and his big old Dodge Cummins have left. And uh, he's going to go make a load. And I believe he may come back toward this way. Monday or Tuesday or something, but uh, Monica and the kids, they're all still here. But uh, as he said, he said on YouTube, even on YouTube or anything you do, you start at the bottom, you're the grunt. You're doing the grunt work. So as you see the subscribers slowly growing, you're putting in your grunt work. And I believe that's the best way I've heard it yet, is I'm, you know, hey, maybe I'm fixing stuff, I'm not a grunt. <laughs> but when it comes to YouTube, putting in that grunt work, oh, that's the title for today, grunt work, yep, oh, I'm glad I said title, I'm glad I said that, it, it, I, I need to put my mustache getting in my mouth, it's about time to trim it, but it looks so good, I'm just kidding, I hate, look, look here, back here, hey look, it's time to do some trimming, and, <laughs> Anyway, about the title. Um, I want you guys, and, and you don't have to, this is just, um, when you, okay, when I try to come up with a title, sometimes it just hits me like grunt work or, you know, whatever. On my videos, I want you guys in the comments every now and then, um, you know, put it in quotes or whatever you want, um, and I'll know if you put it in quotes that it was an idea for a title. I want to see what you guys have you know, creative. I want to see some creative minds out there that come up with a catchy name for what they thought would have been good for the vlog that day. Because sometimes, as you watch it in whole, and I'm making it in pieces and clips, I don't go back and watch the entire thing. I see small clips, so it's hard for me to name them sometimes unless something just really hits me. So every now and then, you guys throw a throw a comment down there and uh you know and it, it'll kind of give me some idea of how other people think and stuff and you know and i want everybody's opinion everyone's I, I think that everyone's opinion matters um which is probably a huge part of the problem in america you should value others opinions other people are like 
your opinion like a butthole. They stink, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? We're all human. We're all trying to make it in this hard world. Um, and if someone has some experience that you don't, it might be wise to maybe take some advice from them. Something they've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, datas. I just happened to buy those. But actually, when I bought that, I thought it was an all-white shirt. And, uh, well, anyway. It looks dark on camera, but me looking at it, I can barely see it. It's another version of white. Um, oh, I was about to say, I hope I left room for the old lady, Parker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be hooking the trailer back up. Yeah, guys, so I, as you can tell there, parked the trailer in the driveway. Get it. And, uh, just kind of left her a little squeeze-in room there. I hope she fits. Because I don't want to go out there and move nothing. But I did just order pizza. Uh, my wife was on the way home, and I said, well, I'm ordering it right now. Will you pick it up? She said, yeah. <clears throat> we won't give our dishwasher a break. All the food that's been cooked here lately, uh, with, you know, a lot of extra people here, a lot of extra food, a lot of extra dishes, you know, and stuff like that. So she said, that's fine with me because we need to give our dishwasher a break. I was like, that's right. I do need a break. I didn't hear anybody laugh. That wasn't even a good joke. Hmm. Hey, are you still up here getting after it? Huh? Willie. Willie. You just going to ignore me like that? For real? You're not interested whatsoever, are you? Just nothing. Okay. Well. Hey. I can't make him talk. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. And I'm gonna, you know, I need some... What do I need? I just need to chillax. So, uh... What, hey, you nasty. For real? For real? When I turn on the camera? Huh? Hey, and what were you waiting on? Hmm? Why are you running away now? Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> Who are you looking at? Are you not going to answer me? Who are you looking at? Hmm? Fine, don't answer me. Oh, that's what I asked. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. No. You're gonna. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Light it. I'm waiting. It's off. It's off. It's off. Oh, does that mean I should move back then? Close and personal. Get it. Get it. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right there now. Miniature fireworks show zoomed in. You can't get any better than that. Get it again. Get it. Oh. 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 Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh! <laughs> I forgot it's out there. Lock it out. If I go in. Try the park fire. Hey, where's... Hey, I'm not saying... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, Yep, yep, maybe a little closer. Oh, oh, all righty then. How you gonna poop when you jump up on the mattress? You nasty. You hear that? <laughs> hey, oh, America. Here, so, here's your bike. Here, it's your bike. Anyway, on bandit it. on the air mattress there. Look. Where we some of the children are sleeping. We have. Decided to jump up on there and poop. Dad, Sammy, this when he jumped. Hilarious. Well, it's, it's hilarious? Yeah. That is pretty hilarious. Alright, so it's outro time, and imagine that, it's about to rain again.
Look here. Look at that grayness. Just grayness. Hey. What? You're going you just gonna go right through the window. Get it. Get it. So my wife and Monica are over talking to Tina or angry Tina, the neighbor, whatever some of you know her by. Tina D. Boss. But it's outro time. Because I got some editing to do. And uh, we'll spend some time with the kids. Go tickle them and carry on. At the bottom of a hundred proof. Yeah. No, no, no. All right, I had a, I, I had a thought that if it rains, I want to make sure my boots are upside down. That way the water doesn't stay on the inside. Yes, and I learned from my mistakes. And also, I was just getting my broom out of the truck, and I made sure and buy the stiff one that had the, you know, the good construction broom. It's a little shorter than what it was. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's positive. <laughs> anyway, so the girls are over there talking, as you can see. Chatting away. Sound like some clucking chickens. I said clucking. Don't y'all get, hey, shh. It's all right, I didn't cuss. Sound like some clucking chickens. <laughs> I almost like, hey, this thing almost looked like a turban. I didn't fold it enough, but hey, you know how much I care? I don't, none. You like it? Good. You don't? Good. I don't. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Here, go ahead. Good Lord. All right. Oh, are you doing your live stream? No. What are you doing, no it, video? It's just video. Hi, Kiki. How are you? I can't get the door shut. They're going to be leaving soon. Do you know me? <laughs> What's my name? Do you see the red dot in my forehead, my Where's friend? Where's that we haven't gotten picked up? Because why? You don't speak to me. Because you stuck in the house. Does she feed you what you want? Are you getting fat? No. You want to come get some popsicles for Look at all these people. You only like the what kind? I have chocolate ones in my oh, house. Oh, chocolate kind. So what are you talking about? Not what about? I thought she said. I got a big chocolate cupcake too. How about that? I don't know that? what I heard. How about that? Did you tell him what Bandit just did when he jumped up on the mattress? What is Bandit? Oh, he just popped the mattress? No. He just pooted and let everybody hear it. He jumped and pooted and it looked like, who did that? Hey, we need to send you in a UPS tag. You're out of here, Ruthie. <laughs> and a, a box will fit you just fine. Come on, Ruthie, you're out. <laughs> yeah. You know Papa's birthday's coming up in about five days. He's going to be 83 years old. Woo! That's almost over the hill. Like, what? Oh, I got a couple of fireworks I'll save for you, too. Fireworks? I'm ready. You probably should have bought some. I'll go get them. I'm a, <laughs> so I go get them. Dad, it's gonna be in this many days. What is? My birthday's gonna be this Your many days. Not. Your birthday's not in that many days. Show me <laughs> your fingers. Huh? Show us your fingers. She said Pop's birthday was in five days. Five days. Now how much is mine? Yours is in a lot more than five days. Okay, yours, I need to go to the bathroom. Yours is in month number ten. This is not month. This is month number seven. Okay. So you got that to be a whole lot of fingers to show 90, 90 days. What is that? I don't even know where it went now. Oh, I see it. Hey, it's busy. It's busy. And Tina says she saved a couple of fireworks for me. Well, I wonder why is she saving for me? Is she scared to light them? Hmm.
Was Tina scared to light a firework or something? Is that why she saved it for me? No, she said she shot something. Oh. Yes, I'm about to say, Tina ain't scared of nothing far as I knew. What are you doing, buddy? Me and Kira. Huh? Me and Kira are playing. Oh, you and Kira? Mm -hmm. Oh. Dad, move it. Oh, well, move it? You move it. <laughs> move it. The rudeness. It was... Anyway, hey, it's a busy day, and I'm going to tend to it. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you for all my day ones who have always been commenting and been here. And, hey, God bless every single one of you. That's right. Hey, if you don't believe in God or a higher power or above or at least karma, God bless you anyway. All right? Crunch Carter. Signing out. Small town country boy from Tennessee